So, how's it going guys? Shade here, back to another video, and today I'm finally gonna be giving you the full guide to combo Yubel. So combo Yubel is getting a lot stronger in April, uh, we're gonna get a new, um, new support, which is gonna be absolutely crazy, this deck is gonna be absolutely so much better, it's playable, it's gonna be strong, it might not be enough the April uh, support to go into the top of the top, but it will be a scary, uh, scary contender. And in June, when we get the new Contact Fusion, this deck is going to be absolutely insane. So let's just get into um, the video. There are two styles uh, to play UL, which is the control version that plays Shifter and tries to set up a bit of a grind game and then battle into your opponent's monsters to finish the duel. But with this new support, I don't really think it's the way to go. Uh, I really, really uh, think that the combo variant is much stronger uh, right now. So that's where I'm gonna go into it. Uh, basically this deck has just one card combos. It's the name of the game. It's just getting Samsara and Samsara comboing off stupidly. Um, some two card combinations will do the one card combo while uh, not giving a fuck about some ant traps and I'm gonna show you all how to do it. So, let's start with the new support in April and after showing you the sample deck list, I will show you um, what a, com a one card combo will look like when the new support arrives in June. Um, so yeah, let's start. One card combo, Samsara. The basic combo. Uh, basically, you just want to normal summon Samsara and use its effect to tribute itself and summon uh, Spirit of Yuval from the deck. Spirit of Yuval on summon triggers to set uh, Yuval's spell trap from your deck. So you're gonna set the Nightmare Pain. And then you're gonna activate it straight away and use its effect to pop the Yuval and get the Squirmer. Spirit of Yuval is gonna trigger to summon the OG Yuval from the deck. Now, you can use Grave Screamer to summon itself, because you control a Fiend monster, and you do not need to pop a monster. You do not need to destroy, the destruction is optional, and sometimes it's the best to not go for a pop, because right now we don't need the destruction for anything at all. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, if you you have the continuous, the other continuous spell on the field that gets counters. It could be a good play because it will give you more counters, uh, but it's not necessary, so it doesn't matter. Let's just get into uh, Link 2, which is Yama. Um, we're playing a really small Unchained package, but we'll make the combos even crazier. Um, and I'm gonna use uh, Squirmer, Effect, Banish to summon the Yubel, and use Sharvara. Pop the Yuvel summon itself, and Yuvel will summon the OG Yuvel from the grave. Now you can link to using Sharvara and Yama into Super Producer, which is really, really an interesting card in this deck. And Sharvara is going to trigger since it was sent to the graveyard to set escape from the deck. Now, Super Producer is an interesting effect because in the main phase you can just target a face up card and destroy it. It has additional effects in Abyss Actor, monst um, Abyss Actor decks. But we do not need, nor want, uh, these extra effects, we just want the pop effect. Uh, basically, now we're just gonna activate its effect and target the Yubel, which will pop the Yubel, trigger Yubel on Chainlink 1, and Yama Chainlink 2. Uh, Yama is gonna summon the Sharvara from the grave, and pop escape, and the Yubel is gonna get us the Terror Incarnate from the deck. Reminder that Yuvel monsters are when effects, so they need to be on Chainlink 1 whenever they are destroyed and need to be the last thing to happen to be destroyed. So if, for example, in Super Producer we destroy the Yuvel and then place, for example, the Abyss Playhouse from the deck, the Yuvel would miss timing, but since we did not use the second effect, the last thing was Yuvel being destroyed, so it can activate, so you need to keep those in mind. This deck, these cards can miss timing, so you need to absolutely um, 
take some notes mentally about that and really pay attention to what you're doing. Um, so yeah, we popped the escape. So now in this chain link, the escape is going to trigger and we're going to summon from the deck um, the Shyam. Now uh, we're going to link to using the Super Produce and the Shyam to go into Rage. And we can use Shyama to pop the Incarnate Summon Shyama, and the Incarnate will summon the Nightmare from the deck, and we'll go for a uh, rank 6 on Caesar, and this is basically just an unchained combo. So basically it's just Rage plus Caesar, the good old unchained um, combo. Uh, but we also have Battle Protection and Nightmare Pain, which is also really funny because this card forces your opponent to go into battle phase, if, so if they leave monsters in attack position, they need to go into the battle phase and they need to attack your um, UVL monsters, so you can win games if just because your opponent does, doesn't read this card. This card, right here, if your opponent doesn't know your deck, you're gonna win the game, most times. They'll just put all of their monsters in attack position, go into battle and they all attack the ultimate nightmare and both night Ultimate Nightmare and Nightmare Pain will burn, so your opponent will just lose the game right there. Uh, but yeah, this is a one card combo, the basic uh, combo that will just get you to your normal uh, five interruptions uh, with battle protection. Just plain old, plain one card combo for the deck right now. Now, there's a better one card combo for the deck, which is to open Nightmare Throne. Um, because we'll still give you access to Samsara, and we'll give you an extra um, extra body on the field uh, for your combo. So let's see how it goes. We're just gonna go Nightmare Throne, add the Samsara Lotus, and now we'll summon Samsara, use its effect, and it's gonna be the same combo as, as the last one, but it, one thing is gonna change right now in a second, so it's just the same, you get your bell, you get two monsters on the field, go into Yama, get Charvara, you know, what we pretty much just did. Uh, the only difference is now, um, when you go for your combo, you get your Unchained Package going in, um, and you get the Shyama. Right here, when you get into Rage, it's where, where the combo will change a bit, because now you're gonna go into Shyama, pop their Incarnate as we did, but now we're gonna go their Incarnate Chain Link 1 and Throne Chain Link 2, so Throne will get to our hand the Uvel and summon the Uvel, and we will get the um, Ultimate Nightmare from the uh, deck. We're going to Caesar, and now we're going to the end phase. In the end phase, uh, since we control the OG Uvel, the Star Lotus can either add it to your hand as follow-up. So if you don't need more interruptions, you could just get follow-up for next turn off of one, a one-card combo, which is insane. Or you get it to special summon to the field, so you have an extra interruption. Uh, because if you control uh, a Uvel monster, uh, you can, when your opponent activates a monster effect, uh, tribute itself. Destroy a Uvel monster becomes the, uh, the effect becomes destroy a Uvel monster, so it negates your opponent monster effect. So it's six interruptions instead of five, and that will also uh, give you a summon of a Uvel monster. So if you have the Mature Chronicle on the field, it's going to give you more counters and stuff. So that's really good. So uh, basically, we just do that, but still we need to pay the cost for the Uvel in the end phase because it needs to either destroy itself or tribute another monster, so you just tribute the ultimate nightmare. And we end on this, uh, which is six disruptions off of one card, which is really, really nice. Now, if you have a two card combo, you can do basically the same while having better follow up and a live super poly. So let's just get into it. Uh, you just go Samsara Lotus and you just do the good old combo, but instead of Spirit of Uvel, uh, setting the Nightmare Pain, since you already have it. For this, you either want Nightmare Pain in your hand, or um, either Throne, or um, um, Squirmer, or a way to Squirmer, you know. You just need to have uh, one of 
the pieces that UL gives you access to in your hand so that you can get the Mature Chronicle as well. Um, you know, if you already have Skirmer, you can still get Pain and Pain Search Mature Chronicle. Uh, but yeah, so in this case, we will set Mature Chronicle since we started with Pain. And I didn't activate it right away, which you should because it will give you more counters, but I still did it in time for us to get follow-up and the the five counters that we need. Um, so yeah, I should have activated it right here, but it was a lapse um, judgment. But re just remember, you activate it as soon as possible uh, so that you can stack counters. Because yeah, and right here, when I went to Pain, get to Squirmer, I missed it and just got one less counter because of it. Um, because I remembered right here, so I just missed a counter, so I should have one more counter, but it's fine. And now you just go and do your normal combo, but right now, this is the one case where you want to use the Squirmer to pop a monster, uh, because then you're gonna act, summon the Incarnate for free, um, and get more counters, you know, if, you, if it's to stack counters, you can use its effect, okay, it's gonna be useful, it's not just summoning because you can, it's gonna be useful. Um, just get Sharvara here, just go the full line that we are showing always. I'm just gonna show how better this card is because now we're just getting tons and tons of um, counters, as you can see. You know, I'm gonna go for the rage line, it's the exact same combo as the first combo. The only difference is we end the combo with six, it should have been seven, but we missed the first one, but it doesn't matter. We still have the six that we needed. Uh, so you're gonna use five of those six counters to search the Super Poly, which will set. And now, this is our end board. We have Super Poly, Live, Final Protection, Rage, Caesar, and the Mature Chronicle as follow-up. Because you can use the first effect to remove a counter and special summon a Ubel from the grave. Which can be the spirit of Ubel that gets a search. And you have full combos anyways through all of that. So this combo is six disruptions with follow-up. And if they want to deal with the super poly. And like, for example, when you have the trap, where the trap is both follow-up or a super poly. Now... You don't have to choose one or the other, you have both, and if they want to remove it, you you can still keep the follow-up because it's on a different card. So if they remove the Super Poly, we still keep the follow-up, instead of when they do the trap, they remove the trap and you lose both. I really like it a lot, really really good. Uh, combo. Mature Chronicle is really slept on, and I, this card is only getting better with the amount of, um, with how much better the combo variants are turning into, this card will only get better and better. Uh, now, let's go. Next combo is to play around Nibiru with um, your one card combo, but you just need the extra Dark Pegging Beast to play around Nibiru. Uh, basically, you just go Dark Pegging Beast, get the opening, um, and now since Dark Peg. Or do we activate? Yeah, I'll activate opening first. So opening, search for a second beckoning beast. And now we, since we control the dark beckoning beasts, we can extra normal summon the Samsar Lotus. We tribute it for Spirit of Ubel so that we can have a fiend on the grave. And of course, we get the search off of Spirit of Ubel. This is your third summon. And we are only activated Samsara right away because we need a Fiend in the grave for the opening effect. Now you can use opening to discard a card and summon a Fiend, so we're going to summon the, the Beckoning Beast that we discarded. And now, on summon number 5, we go for a Gene Buster. So right now, on summon number 5, we are protected from the Bureau. And now we just full combo as usual, it's the exact same combo as always. The only change is that you start with um, a Gene Buster. And as you can see, it's just a really, really nice to stack. Uh, the main problems with it are uh, Nibiru, interactions with Nibiru, uh, or interactions with the Samsara. And there are ways to play around those with not that much more cards needed. 
as you can see we ended off exact same combo we just got to keep an extra gene because we were playing around the bureau uh, we have follow-up as well because opening is also follow-up because it can discard a card to summon the spirit of evil because it summons anything with zero attack exactly that right yeah zero attack defense summons anything with zero attack defense so we have follow-up we played around the bureau and we have the full combo really really nice and now there's a way to play around the imperm uh, in this deck so most times um uh, i've seen uh, people will not like imperm the beckoning beasts um sometimes sometimes they will sometimes they don't but i've seen a lot of people not doing it because if uh if already have a way to get into Samsara Lotus. This is just baiting for an imperm, but if they don't imperm here, uh, we can absolutely play around uh, imperm. Uh, basically, uh, you just get the extra normal summon from Beast. And now, your opponent has to imperm right now, at this moment. Uh, because if they don't, uh, we're just gonna activate its effect, which will tribute itself, so your opponent cannot react to the effect with imperm. They need to re imperm the samsara so now that they impermed our samsara we are just going to link it off for al mirage and we're going to use the opening opening searches for beasts and opening effect is going to revive the samsara and now you have full combo it doesn't change anything at all you still get full combo um here i did some missteps but showing the rest doesn't matter because it's it's the full combo as well you just combo as always it's just samsara full combo it's the exact same combo as always and yeah after showing you these lines this is my sample deck list uh you just want triple samsara lotus the grave squirmer is insane but you only need to you don't really need to see it as much it's like a combo piece sometimes can be useful in hand but you just don't really need it at all um triple throne is insane card another one card started nightmare pain you can cut this down to two if you want but i like it as it is uh mature chronicle is insane much better than the trap i hope people realize this because this version will absolutely uh be amazing with this uh right here it's just incredibly incredibly good this card uh, then we have one of each shoe bell because they are basically bricks. You don't want to play multiples and see them in your hand. Like, if you have Nightmare Pain, it can be okay ish to have them in your hand, but they are still bricks. Uh, so you don't really want to see them in your hand. They are just mandatory to play in the stack. Um, then we play the Triple Beast double opening package just to play around the bureau. Uh, you don't want to see opening in your hand as much as you want to see um, the Beckoning Beast because. If you start with Beckoning Beast, you get to double Beckoning Beast and one opening. But if you start with opening, you get to double opening and one Beckoning Beast. So in this version of the deck, it's not optimal to go for that, uh, the 3 and 2. Uh, it will get optimal in the future. Uh, I will explain why. Um, basically, in the newer version uh, of the deck, since the main combo will already play around the bureau after June, you don't really want the Vacuuming Beasts package. Use it to play around Nibiru. But you want to use it to play around things like Imperm. So then, opening by itself is much better than Dark Vacuuming Beasts. Uh, because you can play around the Imperm on Samsara without using your normal summon on the beckoning beast with the opening because you'll just normal summon samsara and if they imperm you go for al mirage and then opening search beckoning and opening discard beckoning summon the samsara and you have full combo so in the future triple opening will be better but right now triple beckoning beast is better because nibiru is much uh, more of a threat right now than it will be in the future so 3 and 2 is, in my opinion, right now the way to go. Then we have our small Unchain package. Uh, seeing these cards in your hand are like not bad at all. Like If you open the escape, 
you just search for Charvara and Charvara pop escape. You don't really... It's not bad at all because you just get to keep the Yam in the grave for any eventuality. Um, if you open Shyama, you can just discard it for one of your cards, like uh, the Nightmare Pain, for example, or the Nightmare Throne. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, not the Nightmare Pain, but um, when you go for your combo, you can discard it with some cards, like the Opening, for example. Um, sorry about that. So uh, Shyama might be the worst to have in your hand, but it's still playable. Uh, and of course, if you have Shavar in your hand, it's the same old combo. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, this small engine package does a lot and is really, really good. Um, then you have double period raise map for extra consistency because it can search either Samsara, can search Squirmer, can search any of the u can search the Dark Bang Nimbus as well. Searches basically every monster except for the Unchained monsters in our deck. Um, then we play one, one for one for Samsara as always, which is kind of cool that the Samsara itself is on the artwork, so that's really nice. Playing one for one for the Samsara is the correct way to, to do it. Um, and then you have Terraforming because Sniper Throne once again is your one card starter as well. Uh, and then you have 12 spots for non-engine, which I recommend playing Super Poly plus 9. Uh, super Poly is just needed in the stack, um, and it's super strong, allows you to go second super easily, and it's still just an interruption going first, because this card really reads in this deck to just remove your opponent's field, basically. So yeah, you just can't play Super Poly plus any 9 non-engine, or even 10 or something if you decide to cut one Nightmare Pain or something. Going into the extra deck, the Super Poly package is really small, it's just double u -bell because it's the one that you're gonna do the most. Uh, since it's the one that it's the more accessible to you and one mud dragon because sometimes it can be useful uh, especially if you do it on your opponent's board and then you can use it to play around imperms and veilers and stuff on your samsara by just declaring dark which is really nice you have the Jin for playing around the bureau you have the caesar for the end board we have almiraj for playing around the imperm super producer is really insane right now dark is going to be good going second to just push for game uh, you have the double Yama because you use one in your combo and you use the second one for follow-up is extremely good. You can just get back the Sharvara into your hand and now you have both the pop and summon of Shyama and the pop and summon of Sharvara again, which is really nice. Uh, we have the one Rage for going first and the one Anguish for going second, uh, which has a really good interaction with access code because if you use Anguish to remove a monster that floats, you can just use it to go into access code, and since your opponent cannot respond to access code and you return player, you just go access code effect to get 3000 attack boost and your opponent loses their floating effect. That's really nice of an interaction. And then you just have SP for rage, or because it's a really insane card. And we have the one unicorn. If you don't have money for SP, you just play unicorn and then you have one extra spot for something. Uh, but you lose one interaction on your main board. Um, and of course, uh, Unicorn is worse because then it also needs to discard a card. Um, but yeah, this is what I feel like is the best canvas for you to start with. Um, for some optimization, I feel like this is pretty optimized, but might need some testing done. Um, so yeah, I just really feel like this right here, it's really, really good. Uh, right now, it's the one, um, the combination of cards that I've liked the most right now and that I feel like are the best for this deck. So, now that I've gave you a full guide on the combo version for April 20 uh, onwards, here is going to be the one card combo just to show you how good this deck will be when the new fusion drops. The only things you're gonna do in your deck list is that you need to find space for double um, of this new fusion and then Appalooza. And I'm gonna show you how you're doing it. Um, this combo, one card combo, and it's not the best one card combo because Nightmare Throne is better. But this combo plays around the bureau by itself. Let me show. So basically, you just normal summon, 
use its uh, the same sort of effect. Get the spirit, spirit get pain. And it's the same as always. Pain gets squirmer, spirit gets you bell, and squirmer effect summon. This is your fourth summon, and now you link to into Yama. And Yama gets you the Shavar. And this is the spot, the only spot where your opponent can Nibiru. And as I'm gonna show, if your opponent Nibiru's you here, it does not matter at all. So let's just, since this is the last time your opponent can Nibiru, let's see if, what happens if your opponent Nibiru's you. So our opponent's gonna Nibiru, Yama goes to the grave, we get a token. Cool. Now we're gonna shuffle back U Bell and Samsara into the deck to contact Fuge, Fusion. Fusion. Um, into a phantom. It's not contact, it's like it's special summons from the grave, uh, from the X deck. So you get phantom. And now you're gonna use Squirmer, revive the spirit, and you're gonna use Sharvara on the spirit, summon itself, pop Ubel, Ubel effect, get OG Ubel, and you're gonna link Sharvara and the token into Super Producer because he needs two monsters, including a fiend. So Sharvara is a fiend, so you can go into this with the token. And Sharvara triggers as usual. So this is, as you can see, the exact same thing as if we had still Yam on the field. So we did not lose anything by getting Nibiru. My opponent and looped himself for one card. That's all that he did. So now, Super Producer is gonna trigger, popping the Ubel. Ubel facts and Yama are gonna trigger. Yama chilling two, Ubel chilling one. So Yama gets Sharvara and pops the trap as usual, and then you get the terror, and the trap gets you the Chayama. You're gonna link for using the Phantom and the Super Producer and the Chayama for Appaloosa, three materials. And now you can contact with the Phantom and the Spirit into another Phantom. Because this, the only restriction on this card is that the negate is once per turn, the summon isn't. It says that you can you cannot use this fusion material, but this isn't a fusion summon, this is a special summon. You're special summoning from, from the extra deck. So you're not fusion summoning at all, you're just special summoning. The only thing is that you cannot get um, you cannot get Super Poly setup with Phantom because if you because it cannot be used for the summon of the other one. But it doesn't really matter at all. Uh, this just really means that Phantom is free Link fodder all the time. So you just went into Apples right here, and uh, the cool thing is you can recycle this. If you play two. You can make one shuffling the other, so you can just infinitely recycle it, which is crazy. Um, then Shyama pops the uh, Terra Incarnate, summon itself, Terra get the ultimate, and now we're gonna go and use the Phantom and the ultimate into SP and SP effects on the Banished and Virus, so they don't even keep the body on the board. Uh, now the Phantom recycles itself and the ultimate going to another phantom and we still get Caesar. And this is our board. Through Nibiru, you got Ripple Apple in a gate, one SP interaction, double Caesar negate. So we are on six interruptions already. And the seventh interruption on Phantom of UL that when your opponent activates a monster, tributes this card, and changes the effect to destroy a Ubel monster in the deck. Which you will always have a Ubel monster in the deck because you keep shuffling them back into the deck for the Phantom. As you can see, we have two of the Ubels in the deck, so we can just do that. So it's seven interruptions through Nibiru with a one card combo. This deck is absolutely insane. And I really think that if this deck gets to dominate, they need to limit Phantom of Ubel to one. 
Because I'm sorry, but this this is just infinite Link Father. Always. It's just free. As long as you can keep putting UL monsters in the grave or uh, or something. Or the level zero themes. It's free. Absolutely free. And that's gonna be everything for today. Uh, I really have no words for this card. I love it. And I hate it at the same time. It's amazing. It has everything we could ever want for the deck. But it's too broken, in my opinion. So. This is gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I could teach you some um, something about Ubel. Uh, that's... I was you uh, oh, um, useful to help you learn the deck or uh, to maybe get you interested in it and consider buying the deck. Um, if you liked the video, drop a like, comment if you have any suggestion uh, for me of, or you want to discuss anything down there in the comments, feel free to do so. I try to always respond to every single comment. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys next time.